I'm Kristen with APS EdTech, and this is how to use hijacking in Bloxy. When you start your class, you may notice that some students are in a different class. This may happen because the previous teacher's schedule did not end on time for your class, or you are an electives teacher and you're pulling out students, or you're a counselor or speech pathologist or other related service, and you would like to pull students from one class to another. If you notice here, these students in red say that they are in another class ran by a different teacher. Uh, make sure you communicate with in your school if you're going to hijack students, but hijacking is a way that you can take those students from the other class and put them in your class. So go ahead and click here to assign them to this class. And you're now going to be able to see their screens and what they are working on in their classes. This student is watching YouTube. This student is now in my class. I could go in here and take a screenshot, share and enforce, message, all those other things. Now, if another teacher has hijacked a student from you, you will notice in your class that the student's green Wi-Fi signal is here, meaning that that student is on their computer and active. But if you notice the little um, include exclude toggle has been toggled off. So in order to hijack them back, you need to toggle on and then you will get that red screen again to hijack them back. So make sure you're communicating between teachers. If there are students who are either physically moving in between classes or um, if you're online and you need to hijack those students back and forth, Otherwise, you'll just fight back and forth to hijack the students. So make sure communication is happening. But now I can hijack them again to my class if I need to. And those students will now be toggled off in the other teacher's classroom. Check out the rest of the playlist for more videos on how to use Bloxy.